This video probably doesn't represent a popular opinion, but I'm going to argue in favor of mortgage insurance as an option. Yeah, bring out the pitchforks. But hey, maybe you don't know what it is. Mortgage insurance, or MI, is one of those costs that many home buyers have to and hate to pay. But what is mortgage insurance and why is it being charged? Well, mortgage insurance is an insurance for the lender, not for the borrower. In most cases, this monthly cost is added to loans when the down payment is lower than 20%. This is because when the down payment is that low, if a borrower goes into default, the lender is unlikely to have enough equity in the home to make money back on their investment, which makes giving the loan in the first place a bigger risk for them. Many home buyers face this cost because they don't have the liquid funds to pay 20% of a home's value up front, and if they aren't selling a home, they don't have that equity to apply to a mortgage. In that situation, there isn't much to be done about mortgage insurance. On conventional loans, you'll hear mortgage insurance referred to as PMI, or private mortgage insurance, because the insurance is through a company and not the government. It's possible for private mortgage insurance to stop being a factor at some point in the loan. Once you pay enough payments on time for your loan amount to reach 78% of your home's original value, your PMI should stop being charged. It's important to understand how this works, though. This 78% is based on your original payment schedule. If you pay extra on your mortgage to pay down the principal faster, it won't change the date that this PMI will fall off on its own. However, once your loan is at 80% of your home's original value, your lender may drop the PMI, but you'll have to contact them to get that started. One note on all of this, though. If you haven't maintained good payment status, neither of these options are going to work. Speaking of PMI, another term you might hear is LPMI, which means Lender Paid Mortgage Insurance. You'll often hear this on advertisements that mention LPMI as a way of getting out of paying mortgage insurance, even on loans with 5 or 10% down. LPMI will often result in a lower monthly payment compared to a normal mortgage insurance, but the money is coming from somewhere. Loans with LPMI almost always have a higher interest rate to help pay for the cost, so make sure you ask how the LPMI is being paid. Mortgage insurance is also part of the cost for both FHA and USDA government loans. On these loans, the mortgage insurance the borrowers pay goes into supporting the FHA and USDA loan programs, so more people can take advantage of their low rates and low down payments. USDA's mortgage insurance will never come off the loan, and FHA's only comes off under very specific circumstances. As a quick note, VA loans don't have mortgage insurance, no matter what. Without mortgage insurance as an option, lenders might just pass over people who have less money to spend up front. It simply isn't going to be financially viable for everyone to post 20% down payments, and with MI around, those people can still realize the dream of home ownership. Mortgage insurance may not be popular, but it allows lenders to extend credit to a much wider variety of people from all financial situations. So maybe we can put down the pitchforks? If you have any questions about mortgage insurance, leave them in the comments below or feel free to email us directly. Make sure to like and subscribe to keep up with our educational videos. Thanks for watching.